So it turns out that a lot of Illustrator tools have somewhat hidden menus, either for customizing the way the tool works or to make more specific, precise actions. To access a tools menu, if the tool has one, either press the Enter key with the tool selected or double click on the tools icon on the toolbar. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the ones I use the most, starting with those basic transformations you can make on any object, which are moving, rotating and scaling. With the selection tool selected, press Enter and you'll open this menu. Here you can precisely move the object however you want, either choosing the horizontal and vertical position or by selecting an angle and choosing a distance. You can see I have a pattern applied to my object. And this is so I can have these two options here enabled. When you have a pattern applied to your object, you'll get the option to move the pattern, the object or both. So if you ever wondered how to edit patterns, this is the way. With scaling and rotating, the menus are fairly similar. With rotating, you get the option to choose a specific angle to rotate the object, as well as choosing to rotate the object, the pattern or both. Scaling has a few more options, allowing you to scale keeping the proportions or scale using different values for the vertical and horizontal axis. The scale menu also allows you to scale rounded corners, strokes and effects and have the same pattern options of the other menus. The paintbrush tool menu is definitely the one I use the most because it allows you to select the fidelity of the path you draw. So if you want a more accurate path, you drag the slider to the left. And if you want Illustrator to make the path smoother, you drag the slider to the right. This is very useful to draw more organic and natural paths that otherwise would be a little bit harder to create using the pen tool, for example. Below the fidelity slider, there's also some options to change the way the paintbrush works, like being able to edit the path if it is selected. You even have a threshold to how close you have to move the mouse cursor to the path before the option to edit it becomes available. The pencil tool has an almost identical menu to the paintbrush tool. The blob brush tool also gives you the option to customize the fidelity of the path, as well as some very cool options to customize the brush itself. Being even able to control things like size, angle and roundness based on the features of your drawing tablet, if you have one. I don't have mine connected to the computer right now, so these options are greyed out to me. The magic wand is a tool that I use a lot as well, but this one, since it has its own panel which you can open in the window menu, hitting enter or double clicking the tools icon just opens the panel. The output is virtually the same as if you had a regular menu, but you can dock the panel on the sidebar if you wish to. The same thing happens with the gradient tool. And lastly, the eyedropper tools menu lets you choose what attributes the eyedropper picks up, what attributes it applies, and also the sample size for sampling colors in a raster image. This was a selection of the menus that I find most useful, or at least the ones I use the most in my workflow. But there are several other tools that have customization options as well. Take some time and explore Illustrator. This is what is going to shift you from a beginner to a pro user. And now this video has ended and I hope you've learned something new. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.